A year and a half ago, Democrats misread a 50-50 Senate as a mandate for $1.9 trillion in party-line reckless spending. The result has been the worst inflation in 40 years. With Democrats in charge, working families are having to spend thousands of extra dollars each year just to tread water. Grocery costs are through the roof. Energy bills have skyrocketed. Gas prices are more than a dollar higher than on Inauguration Day. American families are trapped in an inflation spiral where many workers have earned pay raises on paper, but even those bigger paychecks buy them less and less every time they go to the store. Because of Democrats' historic failure on the economy, the American people have lost their patience. 90% say they're feeling anxious about inflation. Only 28% like what President Biden is doing about it. And just 22% think we'll be in any better shape after another year of Democratic leadership. But amazingly, Senate Democrats are misreading the American people's outrage as a mandate for yet another, yet another reckless taxing and spending spree. Democrats have already robbed American families once through inflation, and now their solution is to rob American families yet a second time. Democrats want to round through hundreds of billions of dollars in tax hikes and hundreds of billions of dollars in reckless spending. And for what? For a so-called inflation bill that will not meaningfully reduce inflation at all and will actually make inflation even worse in the short term. For a so-called economic bill that will kill American jobs and hammer our manufacturing sector. For a so-called climate bill that will have no meaningful impact on global temperatures whatsoever. For a so-called prescription drug bill that will result in fewer life-saving medicines and higher prices for the new cures that are invented. Every fact I've just laid out has come from nonpartisan experts and academics. Democrats' bill will do nothing to meaningfully cut inflation. Hundreds of billions of dollars in tax hikes on a struggling economy will help, will help kill American jobs. Everywhere except the IRS, that is, uh, where the bill would fund the hiring of, listen to this, 86,000, 86,000 new tax collectors, plus new cars and new computers. Jacking up Americans' electricity bills and gas prices in order to subsidize rich people buying luxury cars and new appliances will not make one dent in the future trajectory of global temperatures. Democrats will choke off the development of new life-saving medicines if they pretend that making things cheaper is as simple as passing a law saying they ought to be cheaper. Survey after survey, poll after poll, has proven that none of this nonsense is what American people want Democrats to focus on. The American people don't want hundreds of billions of dollars in Green New Deal waste. They want less inflation, not more. American families don't want tens of thousands more IRS agents. What they'd like are more Border, border Patrol and ICE agents. American families don't want Democrats policing what kinds of stoves and clothes dryers they can put in their homes. What they want is for Democrats to start actually policing our city streets. Democrats have decided their first economic disaster justifies a second economic disaster. The working people of this country feel very, very differently. 